Hello, everyone. You know, when you hear that tune, it's time to go wild. It's the Time to Go Wild Radio Show podcast for another week. Of course, we are available via YouTube and Podbean, also picked up by Google Podcasts and Amazon Music Podcasts. If you want to contact the show throughout the week, you can do Facebook or Twitter.com slash TTGW Radio. You can also email TTGW Radio at Outlook.com or text 07849767755. It's been a busy weekend, oh, across all the leagues. You know what? Let's do it. It's time to go wild. A warm welcome, everybody, to the Time to Go Wild radio podcast for another week. Well, what a weekend we've just had. I know it's Wednesday as I'm doing the show this week, but I wanted to make sure I could bring you some of the scores on the doors from around the leagues a bit more than last time. So we've we've waited and waited, but they finally come up on the EIHA website so we can give you the EIHA results as well as Elite League. So the weekend for the YKK Witness Wild was a busy one. Big game against Blackburn Hawks, and it didn't disappoint for excitement, thrill, spills, and um, a bit of tension, especially towards the end. But you know what? I'm going to not go through the game sheet for that one, <laughs> because it got a bit hectic. Plus, I haven't got it to hand. Guilty as charged, Your Honour. Didn't prepare for that one. But I do have the scores from the last week. I'm not going over the previous ones. Let's just do the current ones. You'll look through the scores from around the rinks and the leagues that we follow most weeks. Starting off with elite league action from Wednesday, 9th of November. Sheffield Steelers 5, Coventry Blaze 4 after a shootout. On Friday, Manchester Storm 2, Belfast Giants 5, Glasgow Clan 1, Five Flyers, two. On Saturday, 12th of November, Nottingham Panthers, five. Belfast Giants, four. Dundee Stars, five. Cardiff Devils, three. Sheffield Steelers, six. Glasgow Clan, two. And on Sunday, Five Flyers, six. Nottingham Panthers, one. Cardiff Devils, four. Manchester Storm, one. In Challenge Cup action from the Elite League from Saturday, Coventry Blaze 4, Guildford Flames 2. And on Sunday, the reverse fixture was Guildford Flames 7, Coventry Blaze 4. We had some WNIHL Women's Division 2 action this weekend. Same division as our Witness Wild Ladies. It was Kingston 1, Sheffield 4. Moving to the Planet Ice NIHL National League. From Saturday, 12th of November, Basingstoke Bison 1, Sheffield Steel Dogs 2, Bristol Pit Bulls 3, Peterborough Phantoms 6, Hull Seahawks 6, Bees 3, Milton Keynes Lightning 4, Telford Tigers 1, Swindon Wildcats 5, Leeds Knights 10, and on Sunday, Bees 4, Bristol Pit Bulls 5 after overtime. Leeds Knights 4, Hull Seahawks 1, Peterborough Phantoms 5, Swindon Wildcats 4, Raiders 2, Milton Keynes Lightning 6, Telford Tigers 4, Basingstoke Bison 3. Moving to NIHL Division 1 North Morley action from Saturday, Blackburn Hawks 1, Billingham Stars 4. On Sunday there was a cup game. Whitley Warriors 2, Edinburgh Capitals 3. And then back to league action, Solihull Barons 8, Nottingham Lions 2, Widnes Wild 4, Blackburn Hawks 3. And in Division 2 North Laidler we had, on Saturday, Nottingham Lions North 2, 4, 
Bradford Bulldogs, 3. On Sunday, Altrincham Aces, 5. Sheffield Titans, 3. And Nottingham Lions, N2, 3. Telford Tigers, N2, 16. And that's the results from around the leagues and the rinks that we follow most weeks. More on the next show. Woo, some big scores in that one. Nottingham Lions N2, 3. Sheffield Tigers N2, 16. Ike. Swindon Wildcats 5. Leeds Knights 10. Woo! Some big scores. Bristol Pitbulls 3. Peterborough Phantoms 6. Hull Seahawks with their first home win of the season. Beating the Bees 6-3 at, uh, at the Hull Arena. And uh, yeah, some big another big result in the Elite League. 5 Flyers 6. Nottingham Panthers 1 been some really really big results this weekend well after the game on sunday i managed to catch up with uh, the world's mvp nathan Britton for a little bit of a chat and this is what he had to say Titan well fought game at planet ice witness tonight with the ykk witness while taking on the blackburn hawks we're joined by uh, player of the game nathan Britton. well last week it was a bit battered and bruised this week was just to tough it out i think yeah, pretty much, you know, it's um, it was a tough game, but I think we made it harder for ourselves than we needed to. Um, we need to watch that penalties at times, but all in all, we just dug deep and got there. And it was, um, you know, very close, very tight, first period, 2-1. I think it was, it was a nil-nil second period, if I remember. Yeah, still 2-1 at the end of the second, so all to play for. Both sides were just digging deep. Yeah, uh, like you say, both sides dug deep there pretty much counted each other on that we had chances we thought we should score I imagine they feel the same but I feel like we had the better of the chances all night so I think it could have been more but we just happened to get the win in the end yeah I mean that third period managed to get the two goal advantage after they pulled things back a little bit and then snuck one in 4-3 the final score but everything counts and the points go on the board and on the table yeah, that's that's all that matters end of day. It doesn't say, you know, who scored what after when you look at the end of the season it just says who won the game. Uh, their goals I think like I said earlier, daft penalties, I think they got a couple on the power play, we'd let them back into the game in that sense. But yeah, just happy to get the win. I mean the short handed marker from Danny Hayde was a massive go ahead goal and then Rich Hager putting another one in late on. The whole place went berserk. Yeah, um, Danny's goal was good. Uh, lucky enough to be on ice that one. Me and Rudd's uh, gave him a big, big cuddle afterwards. But uh, now you could tell he wanted that one. Then Richie coming back from a, a bit of a, a niggling injury, managing to get on board. That was good. But yeah, like you say, the fans were unreal again. Just helped us along when we needed them. In the atmosphere in Planet Ice Witness tonight was electric. The Blackburn fans were credit being really loud and noisy. The Wild fans countered and would make trying to do their best to outshout them. And, uh, it's what we like. Yeah, we love it. We oh, we love it when the fans are, are giving it everything. Uh, people always ask me if you can hear people. I've always said no. You can't. You can't really hear. But I was at Sheffield here. You can hear the guys. They're they're so loud. They help us out so much. I mean, it must, it, as you say, you know, you played over at Sheffield for a long time and you came here and, you know, it's one thing when you're on the opposition, you come out and you see the noise, but when it's the home team, sometimes it can take a bit of an adjustment every week coming out to it. Uh, a little bit, yeah, I know what you mean. It, was, it wasn't that bad for me personally. I, I, I tend to switch off a little bit, but... No, you can really hear the guys and we love it. Every second they're giving it everything for us. We It pushes us, it wants us to do better. I mean, this season, is, a, is we knew this season was going to be tougher than last season. The changes with the squad, other teams have bolstered and improved. But the league is very competitive as usual. Yeah, it's something that... I mean, the, the, the joke I've said is uh, when I signed here last year, I didn't know what league we were in. Uh, I, I signed and said, yeah, I want to play here and then found out we were in Morley, so Div 1. But like the league's shown, anyone can beat anyone on any day. We'll take Solway, we'll take Whitley to the end of a game and we'd like to think we can beat everyone in the league on our day. It, it is showing that this year as well, that you know people are taking points off each other. The one team this year that's really come good after several years propping up the league are the Nottingham Lions. Other teams are now having a bit of a, a lull while they've managed to sort of maintain some pace. 
Yeah, like you say about Nottingham, they went for I don't know how long it was without a win. It was yeah, like a bit of a joke. But then, um, like you say, they've come good. They've got some. They've bolstered their lineup a little bit. Obviously, Tristan that was here last year, he's gone there. He's looking good. Um, but yeah, like we just need to focus on our own games, go from there, and win everything we can. That's the key thing. I mean, home or away, you graft it out. I mean, next week. It's a, <laughs> a reverse game for you, isn't it, again? Yeah, used to being on the other side of that one, but no. It's always good to play against them, see some guys you know, obviously, and uh, but it, it makes it a little bit sweeter when you do win. <laughs> you know, you, you know you'll, you'll get the odd wind-ups and banter on the opposite side of the uh, the face-off circles and from the benches and the odd chirp at warm-up. Yeah, no doubt I'll take a couple of slashes or something, but I'll be fine. We'll, we'll all pull together, we'll graft it out another win. That's the thing, you know, you, in this league people do move from team to team, but you make friends, what stays on the ice stays on the ice, but, you know, you'll batter each other from pillar to post and board to board, but then you'll uh, have a good laugh even after that particular pump. Yeah, we, we have always, um, obviously there's a few group chats, WhatsApp, things like that, and uh, we'll give each other a hard time on the ice, there'll be guys fighting, and then after the game they'll be best of mates again, that's just how it is. And that's hockey, that's what we love about the sport. Well, I'll let you get rested and ready for next time, so thanks for joining me. Right, thanks very much. Thanks Nathan for joining me, and uh, much appreciated for you taking a little bit of time just to have a little chat and discuss the way things have been going recently. It's been a tough part for the season so far, and uh, I'm now going to go with a little bit of table talk. Because we um, need to catch up on the tables. First, we'll start with the Elite League and the league table for them. Start from bottom up. In 10th place in the Elite League, we've got the Glasgow Clan, 16 games, 5 points. Manchester Storm now in 9th position, 13 games, 9 points. The Dundee Stars, 8th position, 16 games and 10 points. Fife now in 7th, 16 games and 12 Nottingham Panthers in 6th, 13 games and 12. Belfast in 5th position, 13 games and 20. Cardiff De- um, yeah, Cardiff Devils in 4th with 16 points, 20 16 games I should say and 21 points. Coventry Blaze in 3rd, 15 games played and 21 points. Sheffield Steelers in second, 14 games, 23 points, but still way out in front in a way. The Guildford Flames, top of the shop in the Elite League, 16 games and 27 points. And it is now, of course, the Viaplay Elite League after the rebranding of the sponsor. Also for the Challenge Cup, the, um, the results are in, so... With the way the group finished, uh, eighth best team was the Nottingham Panthers. Then the fifth, then the seventh was the Cardiff Devils. Sixth was the Guildford Flames. Fifth was the Dundee Stars. Uh, fourth, Fife Flyers. Third was Coventry Blaze. Second was the Sheffield Steelers, and the best team in the group stages were the Belfast Giants, based on their records. And it's a little bit more convoluted how they work out the quarterfinals but the quarterfinal fixtures will be dates to be confirmed it's Belfast Giants will face the Nottingham Panthers the Sheffield Steelers will face the Cardiff Devils the Coventry Blaze will face the Guildford Flames the Five Flyers will face the Dundee Stars so in a way that's worked out quite handy for Scotland dare I say it um, five get Dundee. No big, not not massive, massive travels there, <laughs> which can be horrendous. I just remember back to the days of the British National League when you could have Dundee playing Basingstoke, and it's like almost two of the most far apart teams you can have, or Guildford, or if you're going all the way up to Dundee and then all the way down to Guildford or Basingstoke. Oh gosh, the travel at times could be horrendous. But so it's five. Fife and Dundee, Gu- uh, uh, Coventry, Guildford, Sheffield, Cardiff, Belfast, Nottingham. They're the matchups for the uh, next round of the Challenge Cup, the quarterfinals. And we'll move actually to the WNIHL table next for North 2. 
and of course our Witness Wild Ladies are in this division. We've got Kingston at the moment, two games, no win, no points. Grimsby, one game, no points. Then Sheffield, three games and one point. Whitley Bay, two games and two points. Telford, two games, three points. Leeds in third, four games and four points. Witness in second, three games and four points. And currently top of the shop, Solway, three games, six points. And in a way, the only game that's separating Witness and Solway is the game up in Solway, where Solway beat Widnes. So at the moment, it's at the top of that table. It's fairly close. Still early days. Not many games played around in the uh, WNHL 2 North League. But we will be bringing you as much as we can on the fortunes of the Widnes ladies as they seek promotion back to Division 1. We can now bring you the latest updates on the uh, NIHL, the other NIHL leagues. We'll start with NIHL 2 North. Bradford Bulldogs currently in 8th position, 8 games and 6 points. Coventry NIHL Blaze in 7th position, 10 games and 7 points. Nottingham Lions NIHL 2 in 6th with 9 games 7 points. Fifth position is the Sheffield Titans with 10 games and 9 points. Fourth position, the Altrincham Aces, 9 games, 10 points. Third position, Sutton Sting, 12 games, 12 points. In second place, the Hull Jets, 9 games and 16 points. And top of the shop, but basically tied on points, the Telford Tigers NIHL 2, 9 games and 16 points. So it's basically sort of form booking the likes separating them so at the moment it's uh, a very tight between Hull and Telford as we were probably going to be expecting Sutton quite close on the heels and Altrincham having a bit of a resurgence this year so um, you know could be quite tight in that top section of uh, Division 2 North uh, Laidler before we come to NIHL North 1 morally we'll go to the Planet Ice NIHL National Division and at the moment, this is after the 6th of November, the uh, the, the table. So, um, I, I don't know if they're all the same. So, uh, these may be uh, updated. Right. We have... Oh, actually, I'm going to just check something. <laughs> he says, he says, he says. Where are we? No, not... Ah, and we go with that one. Is this the most recent? Just double checking. Just checking, checking, checking tables. There's so many tables around at the moment, ladies and gentlemen. So just please bear with me one moment. Yeah. Ah! It would appear there's different tables. So we're going to go back a little bit. <laughs> oh dear. It shows what proper preparation brings you. Review of the tables again. <laughs> because there's a little bit of confusion. Ah, we actually have better tables. NIHL stats have updated tables. So we'll restart. Bradford in, in Division 2. Bradford Bulldogs, 9 games, 6 points. Coventry NIHL Blaze, 10 games, 7 points. Then you've got Nottingham Lions, 2, with 10 games and 7 points in 6th. Sheffield Titans in 5th, 11 games, 9 points. Sutton Sting, 12 games, 12 points. 3rd place, Altrincham Aces now, 10 games and 12 points. Hull Jets in second, nine games and 16 points. And Telford Tigers, two at the top. But it's 11 games and 20 points. So it's very tight, as I said a few moments ago in Division 2. Sorry about the confusion, everyone. But uh, it, it is tricky at the moment, making sure we get all the, uh, the results and tables up to date. Moving to the National League, based on the most up-to-date table I have in front of me now. In 11th place, the Hull Seahawks, 19 games, 4 points. 
in 10th. The Bees, 18 games and 10 points. Basingstoke Bison in 9th, 17 games, 11 points. Bristol Pit Bulls in 8th, 17 games, 12 points. Swindon Wildcats in 7th, 16 games, 16 points. Raiders in 6th, 16 games, 17 points. Telford in Telford Tigers, 5th place with 19 games and 20 points. Sheffield Steel Dogs, 16 games and 23 points. Third of the Milton Keynes Lightning with 17 games, 27 points. So quite a jump there. Peterborough Phantoms in 2nd place, 17 games, 28 points. And top of the shop, having a really big season now. The Leeds Knights, 16 games, 31 points. So very much clear at the top of the National League of the Leeds Knights bit of a jump between third and fourth going from the Steel Dogs on 23 points and Milton Keynes Lightning on 27 points mid tables fairly close but you know it's starting to spread out a bit in the National League finally the most up-to-date version of the D1 North morally table I can get at the moment in ninth position, Sheffield Scimitars, 12 games and 1 point. D-Side Dragons in 8th with 6 games and 2 points. Blackburn Hawks in 7th, 12 games and 8 points. Nottingham Lions in 6th position on 13 games and 8 points. Widnes Wild are 5th, 11 games, 12 points. Solihull Barons in 4th, 11 games and 13 points. Third place of the Billingham Stars, 13 games and 18 points. Solway Sharks in second, 12 games and 21 points. And the Whitley Warriors at the top of the shop, 12 games, 22 points. Quite a gap starting to open up there in parts of the division. Um, between Solihull and Billingham, between fourth and third, it's starting to open up a little bit. And at the top, well, we could have predicted based on last year's form where who was going to be top of the shop. Really, it's going to be a fight out between Whitley and Bill, and sorry, Whitley and Solway. The Billingham Stars with the big resurgence this year after a bit of a lull last year, and then coming good towards the end of the season. Um, Witness fit, sitting in the middle of the division. Nottingham having a really big resurgence this year, picking up plenty of points early on. And the, in a way, a surprise are the Sheffield Scimitars, in a way, usually finishing quite well, but being at the bottom of the table with only um, with no wins and one overtime loss at the moment after 12 games. But hockey being hockey, as we all know out there, anything is possible. Absolutely anything can happen. <laughs> so um, who knows? Who knows? Well, I'm going to try and keep it a little bit more short and sweet for the next little section as we do our final segment, which is our usual little roundup. As, of course, we do our little thank yous. Everything to do with Witness Wild, YKK Witness Wild, that is. You can check out the website, witnesswild.co.uk, where you will find the fixture lists and items such as the Own and Loan shirts, ticket information, etc. And of course, the Own and Loan shirts available, £80 for each of those. Um, there is also information on, of course, the um, game updates and news articles. Of course, if you want the Witness Wilds relate related stuff on social media, it's Facebook or Twitter.com slash Witness Wild. And there's Instagram, Instagram.com slash Witness Wild Official and YouTube.com slash Witness Wild Ice Hockey Club. And of course, a big thank you, as always, to all of our sponsors title sponsor YKK, Home Penalty Box sponsor Fresco Environmental, and as well as Sprakes and Sun, MPG, Cross Check Clothing, Put Drop, University of Salford, and a charity, the Halton Haven Hospice. Before I do the fixtures, of course, a big thank you to everybody who was there at the weekend. And, of course, we had the uh, the um, minute silence, of course, with it being Remembrance Sunday. Thank you to everybody. And, of course, the reeds that were arranged and placed and centerized. Fantastic way to commemorate and make sure we all remember the events of what happened in the conflicts. 
Moving on to some fixtures coming up. Saturday 19th of November. The game between the D-Side Dragons and the YKK Witness Wild this Saturday, of course, is off. But we have on Saturday, if my fixture lists are right, the Witness Under-16s will be facing Leeds Under-16s at 20 past 4 at Planetized Witness. And that will be followed by the Witness Under-18s taking on the Whitley Bay Under-18s at 6pm, both games at Planetized Witness. Then on Sunday the 20th, the Leeds ladies will be hosting your Witness Wild ladies at 6.15pm. Meanwhile, back at Planet Ice Witness, the YKK Witness Wild will be facing the Sheffield Scimitars at 5.30pm. The next weekend, Saturday the 26th of November, the Blackburn Hawks host your YKK Witness Wild in an M56 Cup game at 6pm. And then on Sunday, 27th of November, if my fixtures are correct for the juniors at the moment, I need to double check. Uh, our under 10s are in cross ice action over in Bradford at 4.45. Then we have the Whitley Bay Beacons hosting the Witness Wild Ladies at 5 pm. Meanwhile, back at Planet Ice Witness, your YKK Witness Wild are hosting the Billingham Stars at 5.30 pm. Saturday the 3rd of December we have a, an extra little fixture, a bit of rec hockey going on if people want to come down and see the Cheshire Pistons in action. They will be um, playing off against the Sheffield Mavericks at quarter past four. That's Saturday 3rd of December, a bit of rec hockey. And in the meantime the Billingham under 12s will be hosting the Widnes under 12s up in Billingham at quarter past six. And our final fixture for the time being... On Sunday, the 4th of December, we have the Blackburn under 16s hosting the Witness under 16s at quarter past, sorry, at quarter to five. Back at the Witness Wilds barn of Planet Ice Witness. On Sunday, 4th of December, YKK Witness Wild hosts the Solway Sharks in league action at 5 30 pm. Well, there you go. Plenty of hockey coming up over the next couple of weeks. Plenty to keep you busy and entertained. Of course, the weather's changing. It may be getting a little colder. It means you're just going to be wrapped up warm before you come into the rink. Some rinks are warm, some rinks are cold. No matter what it is, we all enjoy a bit of ice hockey. So, wherever you are and whatever you're doing over the next week or so, enjoy your hockey wherever you get it. Hopefully, we'll have more on the next edition of the Time To Go Wild Radio podcast. From me, from me, for another week, take care and enjoy your hockey wherever you get it. Till next time, ta-ra!